Hey everybody, my name's Luke Van Maul, and I'm the director of the short film, A Day Late. And I'm Ty Pokup, I'm the producer and one of the stars of the film. So in this video, I wanted to talk a bit about the writing process and how exactly we filmed it in one day. We shot this all in one day in November of 2018 in Anderson River Park. The script, there was none. You can't really write a fight scene. So we had the rough idea in mind where there is a debtor who owes the dealer some money and brings it to him a day late and he says, let's take a walk and then they go somewhere and fight. That's pretty much all that we had thought coming into this. So I had called up Luke and I had said, hey Luke, we haven't worked on anything for a while. We had worked on Trial 47, which is on this channel. And I said, let's film something in one day, in one location. And we also had talked about incorporating martial arts into a film, which is something we hadn't done really seriously before and we wanted to do that. And I accepted, although a little bit hesitantly at first, because I was awfully swamped with college work and various freelance gigs. But Christmas break was coming up in three minutes. I mean, that's doable. I needed something for film festivals in 2019, and this sounded like an adequate project for that. The Saturday before we filmed this, we just location scouted around Anderson River Park. We found a few photographically pleasing locations. We thought we want to start at this bench right here, then have them walk over to this one place right here where we have the first fight scene in which we have to have him get his butt kicked because we can't have our hero be a superhero. There's gotta be at least some good reason to believe that the bad guy might win. So we have to place that doubt in there by making him lose a few times. So he goes here, he loses. Then we run through this foresty looking spot to where we then have the end act at this big mound and that's where we have the big finale. And my character, the villain, absolutely kicked the crap out of the hero. As you can see, I won. With exception to the first three shots, everything else was shot in one Sunday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then those first three shots, we just got one morning on a different day. We moved really fast when it came to filming and we've uh, done enough filming together that we know that you can't dilly-dally too long in one location on one shot And it was like, okay, let's get this shot. Let's do this choreography and keep moving 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 That's how we were to do three locations in one day So my buddy Corey Dean Esham, he served as the choreographer on the film We came in with a rough idea of what the choreography on the film was going to be but due to filming and the different uh, challenges that come with filming, we had to modify and adapt the martial arts choreography on the fly and um, just change things as Luke saw fit for the different camera angles and the different locations we were in. And from what I remember, most of the choreography was made up on the fly. There was the opening parts where he had more of a plan, but then towards the end in the final fight piece, that was entirely made up just about half an hour before we shot it. Our total crew was just, including the two of us, four members. Me, Ty, Corey D. Nesham, and our friend Daniel Lloyd, who ran sound and grip work at the same time. And you can tell we had a huge budget. Very big. About a hundred dollars. Pretty much just for things like catering and other small stuff. I needed my trailer. I had to be in my trailer half the time. The gear we used, we shot this on this Panasonic G7, Tyler's GH4 as a second camera, a C-stand, and a reflector. Then other gear just included the uh, tripod and a gimbal, which is an electronic camera stabilizer. This is what's called a gimbal. It's from the brand Came TV. So what this does is electronically stabilizes the camera. So in the first setting, if I hit this button once, then it's a setting where if I move it left, right, or up and down, it just smoothly does that motion. If I put it on the second setting, then it locks up and down, but still moves left and right. Then if I put it on the third setting, it keeps all of them locked. And that is how we get smooth shots. And the shots that look like they were done on a fancy jib, all it is is just me fully extending the legs on a tripod and doing this. And then throwing on warp stabilizer and after effects and you get beauty.
We shot this in mid-November 2018, and were in post up until late January 2019. I logged all the hours that were put into making this, and once I get around to adding them all up, uh, this is how many hours were spent total on the film. That's a lot of time. Shortly after post-production was finished, this film premiered in our local Sundial Film Festival here in Redding, California in March of 2019. Luke, we're uh, very impressed with the action in the movie. How how were you able to choreograph that all and make sure everyone stayed safe? I think I might have put them in more danger myself because I kept telling them my number one critique was get your fist closer to the face. <laughs> Even closer. So sometimes we had to do quite a few takes until it looked authentic. But I think if you saw the rough edit, you wouldn't think it looked as painful because a lot is done through editing tricks and sound effects. A Day Late was in four more film festivals after that one, including the Online Indie Fest Film Awards, in which it won an award of recognition. It was also in the Action on Film Festival and the Hollywood Dreams Film Festival, which were both in Las Vegas. Lastly, it was in the Shorts Film Festival in Chico. And that's why it took so long to put this on YouTube, because film festivals want to have some exclusivity where a film that they screen is not yet on the internet. But now it is on YouTube for all of you to watch. And that concludes this episode. In our next video, we are going to talk about the technicality of how we film a fight scene without people getting hurt.